All right, so Solo Squads is one of Fortnite's most fun game modes, man. Sometimes we need a break from competitive and are just looking for some just casual games. However, with the increasing skill ceiling in Fortnite, people just seem to be getting better and better and better. Pup players are no longer just super easy to kill. What is the world coming to? Players who couldn't even aim a few seasons back now have deadly shots. Yo, yo, so what's up, guys? It's me, Keith Allen, and today, hey, we're gonna be bringing you Solo Squad's analysis video. Hey, guys, connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Been getting into a lot of great conversations with you guys, so, hey, keep uh, hollering at your boy. We're gonna be using Ghost Assault's gameplay today since he's a very well-known Solo Squad's player. We're going to be breaking down the in-depth details of what makes this guy so good at them. We're also going to be showing you all the tips and tricks he uses to close out his solo squad's domination. And for further help with his game mode, hey, check out Instapro. This is the real deal, guys. Have one of our skilled coaches guide you through some matches, and you're going to be getting those victory royales in no time, because practice makes perfect. Solo squads is a lot about positioning, and if you just stay in one place, you're going to get sprayed down by the squad. You need to constantly stay moving to look out for ample opportunities. Okay, let's get into this. In this first clip, Assault is on the high ground with the Sala loadout. He's got all the essentials, a combat shotgun, an AR, some gliders, and shields. We're going to watch how he handles his tough fight and manages to emerge victoriously, all while attaining five kills. Assault has just finished a kill and is already hungry for more. He notices a squad underneath him and goes for the meal. After getting a shot off, he hears somebody landing on him. At this point, it's too late to spray. So he tracks the target and gets a nice shot off on him. He builds right after he shoots to prevent taking any damage. Very, very smart. But now, Assault is faced with a tough call. He can either focus on his other teammates or finish this guy beneath him. He makes the right play, and he does a double down edit, hammering his opponent in the face. Ouch. After downing an opponent, hey, sometimes you have time to thirst, or sometimes you don't. Assault makes the right call, and he goes for the finish. His next opponent lands on top of him, so he's quick to place a cone above him. This saved Assault from taking some serious damage. Assault then goes out back with his eyes on the high ground. This move is exactly what he needed to do, especially when outnumbered. When you fight multiple opponents and lose high ground, you're usually done for. They're free to swarm you like flies. Who's been there? I know I have. Assault decides to go for the low ground and see if he can get some healing off. He places Trap to Terrence and is about to heal when he sees another opportunity for a kill right in front of him. Remember guys, solo squatting isn't about running away. You want to finish your opponents quickly and efficiently to stay in the game. He sees a free target in front of him and he edits a window peek. Then he gets some sick shots off, finishing the player. Now remember what we talked about before about thirsting? In this situation, Assault can go for the thirst, but the car is blocking him. So his chance at that went out the window. Assault sees another target and, to him, it's another victim. He edits the wall and he gets him with some unexpected shots. Always look to be unpredictable. Always, guys. Change it up. That player looked like he was just about to go run and pick up his teammate. Oh, here's a side note. One thing you guys need to understand about solo squads is that many of the enemies aren't skilled players. So, you need to work your way around them. Casual opponents are more predictable and thus easier to take out. Look for available opportunities to go for shots. Assault makes another heads-up play. He places a ramp to prevent any enemies from peeking him at that angle. Like we discussed before, hey, always look to cover yourself from taking damage. Block off all possible blind spots, okay? It's crucial. After he loots up, he hears his enemies above him, so he decides to go for height. As Assault's ramping up, he sees the enemy jump above him, waiting for a shot. So he ends his opponent's opportunity with a cone block. Watch how these pro players are always ready with a counter. They're always ready for what's next. Okay, so after countering his enemy, Assault goes for a jump shot, placing another cone that blocks his enemy's shot. Wow. And then he proceeds for the retake. Assault wants high ground, and under no circumstance is he going to give that up. But wait, his enemy drops down, giving it to him for free. Then his enemy further makes a foolish move, exposing himself to a fatal shot from Assault. Oof. Wow. After going all in, okay, Assault sprays him down and manages to dodge the trap with a sick jump ramp placement. He dodges the trap just in time with the ramp jump. So after looting up, he hears more opponents down below. But these guys seem to be lost. <laughs> now, this next part is quite risky for Assault. He throws Fortnite fundamentals down the drain as he drops down from his high ground. Now, Assault is scored off against two enemies. One to his left, alright, check it out, and one to his right. He nails the dude on the left with nice ADS headshot. 
As the second opponent reacts, he hits him too, then seals the deal with the wall. This prevents any retaliation. Very smart. He then goes for an edit shot and he closes out that fight. What incredible plays by Assault. Gotta give him props. We can really learn a lot from him. I mean, this guy took down five opponents and he used insane tactics that ultimately won him those engagements. So what did we learn in this video? Three main things out of all the incredible plays we witnessed. Number one, go for high ground when outnumbered. It is very crucial you stay above the rest. If you get caught up with an enemy under you and above you, you may get pinched, leading to death. Always keep high ground while outnumbered. Number two, many times, you know, you may go for a shot at the wrong time. In this clip, we saw Assault get perfect shots off. When fighting squads, keep in mind, guys, they always expose themselves to easy shots. You just need to be patient. Assault could have easily gotten blasted while just going for height, but he was ready with the cone just in case somebody shot at him from above. Sometimes, you know, we get into situations that we can't anticipate, so having a backup plan works wonders. All right, so on to our next clip. If you thought that was impressive, guys, just check out this. Assault wipes an entire squad using nothing but 200 IQ tactics. He baits the enemies into dangerous territory and turns a potential death into a serious victory. Assault is in one of the hottest places you can be. Neil tilted. Not only is this place a third-party haven, it also has slipstreams, which can be beneficial or utterly dangerous when it comes to engagements. Yeah, I said the word utterly. So we see him spot out a few targets. He goes for some shots and is met with an enemy who lands above him. After trading a few shots with him, he realizes this is a bad idea. He knows this man's teammate could be close by and he doesn't want to get caught on the low ground. Assault wants to go for height or sees if he can get a good shot off but he realizes it's too risky, so he launch pads out. All right, smart. He looks to get a safe spot where he can get better gauge of his surroundings. With people shooting and gliding everywhere, oh my goodness, sometimes it could just get wildly confusing. As Assault lands, he goes for some shots and then gets lasered. He builds for height and then realizes this isn't going to work out. One skill that top players do have is great game sense. Whew, that's something that we all need. And just from watching this, I can tell he knows there are multiple enemies nearby. So, Assault finds the perfect opportunity to light up a sick headshot, but when he attempts it, he hears the sound of builders. He tries going for hide and gets overtaken by a ramp pusher. In response, he's forced into the defensive. So, remember what we talked about in the last clip? When you're on low ground versus multiple opponents, it's basically over. So, you need to come up with a new plan. Survival chances are slim, so Assault makes a heads up play and looks to isolate his opponents. This way, he won't have to fight three to four opponents that are all focused on him. He uses another launch pad to escape, keeping him one step ahead of the competition. So, he sees a nearby building and he knows he's going to have some time to heal up and hopefully splits his opponents up. Picking them off one by one is the ideal way you want to do things around here. Assault enters in and places some traps around him by the choke points. Then he starts recovering. So remember guys, hey, you don't want to be afraid to reset the fight when you need to. Everybody, everybody needs some time to recover, okay? Especially after taking heavy damage. Assault knows his time has run out now and he's on the offensive. But this time, he's not going to be the one running. He uses a dancing mode to bait his opponent. <laughs> Many people probably thought he's just being cocky, but he's doing it for a reason. He starts placing cones and walls blocking off the windows. This is a great way to level the playing field. You don't want to give your enemies the best angles on you. He waits for the right moment and he sneaks in a sick pre-aim shot, nailing his opponent. At the same time, he knocks another one with a trap. What an insane play. Gotta give it to him. The next opponent is above him. His opponent starts breaking the roof, but Assault is ahead of the game. He's ready with the wall and he places it before the enemy can react. After his opponent shoots, he goes in for an edit play. Unfortunately, he ends up hitting his own wall, missing the shot. In this position, Assault can be dead in one shot. So instead of risking the 50-50 trade shot, he instantly builds cover. Again, very smart. This saves him from a quick and unpleasant death. <laughs> you know, getting shotgun to the face is not something we want to happen, okay? Pay very close attention to this next move. As he goes in for the cone edit, his enemy takes the wall above him, so he counters by placing a pyramid above the floor. Then he jumps to the side while editing to fake out his opponent. The reason Assault reacted this way is because he didn't want to risk just taking damage in the event his cone gets replaced. He wasn't sure he owned that cone, so he strafed sideways. From this angle, it's easy for him to hit his opponent. Assault is then able to finish him off with some right angle peak shots, claiming the victory. So guys, Assault demonstrated two takeaways worth noting. Number one, look to isolate your opponents when outnumbered. When you're outnumbered, always look to pick off opponents one by one. You can't go into a gunfight 1v3 and expect to win, all right? Come on. 
You gotta learn how to separate the enemies. Get them to split up, like Assault did. Number two, hey, get better positioning. Assault could have taken many fights, but instead he was smart and repositioned himself in a better spot. Positioning is very crucial when it comes to a competitive Fortnite and you need to start doing it. All right, so that's it for the video, guys. Let us know which pro player you want us to analyze next, and you already know we're gonna deliver that. Don't forget to check out ProGuys.com, like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell to stay informed. Once again, hey, it's Keith Allen. If you haven't connected with me just yet, go ahead and send me a message, follow me. We got a lot going down in the Fortnite world. ProGuys, coming out with new videos all the time.